spotted mother. Oh, he'll know. Don't worry. They'll, they'll be in touch. Half Hennessy trained by Bede Murray, disappointed last start at Mooney Valley, but clearly enjoyed the extra room at Caulfield, finishing off with the quickest final furlong of the day. And I said to his rider, just let him stride when he straightens up and let him stretch out so as he gets a good feel of it. And uh, he worked even better than I expected him to. Not all the champions were at Caulfield's breakfast with the stars. Cox played hopeful Lonro having a secret hit out at Mooney Valley. The Hawks stable adamant all is well. He just walked back into his second home and uh, I think he's glad to be back and I'm glad he's here too. Steve with Land 7 News. Now to cricket and West Australian bowler Brad Williams has received an unexpected call up to join the Australian cricket team and he's replacing an injured Jason Gillespie. Inclusion in the national squad, it's the phone call every Australian cricketer wants to get. Just a few hours notice to join a flight to Sharjah. Had to find out, I was actually at the gym, I uh, got a call from the ACB and uh, actually they asked me what I was doing this afternoon, so now I'm on a plane. Jason Gillespie strained his right calf muscle in yesterday's first test win. The unfortunate thing is that uh, the next two test matches are very close together. I, I don't think I'll be ready, um, but I'll be... I'll be ready for the uh, start of the summer back home. Williams has played a one-dayer for Australia, but not a test. Meanwhile, former West Australian and Australian batsman Simon Kadich has been named captain of New South Wales in Steve Waugh's absence. Kadich yet to play a game for the Blues. Yeah, I spent a bit of time thinking about it. Um, I mean, I even spoken to a couple of the guys about it. Former Golden Girl Shane Gould continues to blitz them in the pool. A win today in the 100 metres at the World Masters Games in Melbourne. But it's a 99-year-old who's the headline grabber. Charlie Booth last raced at Olympic Park in 1920. I've seen a lot of changes, but we've still got cold toilet seats, haven't we? He's carrying a hernia, but didn't tell anyone till after the race. He didn't win, but he still reckons he's worth backing. A man came up to me and he said, I've just got 25 to 1 about you. And I said, oh, I don't think I could win it. He said, yes, you can. I'm the starter. <laughs> Nick McCarthy, 7 News. <laughs> well done, Charlie. Now for a look at the national weather. Tonight's weather report is brought to you by Airwell Air Conditioning. There are scattered shower clouds along the southern coast, but there's some bad news for the rest of the country. Not a cloud in sight. Could do with the rain. A deep depression's moving to the southeast of Tasmania. Cooler southwest to southeasterly winds are spreading up the east coast and pushing a weak low into Queensland. Brisbane has the chance of lightning in a top of 29 nonetheless. Sydney a bit cooler, 21 degrees. Cloudy in Melbourne, Hobart and Adelaide. Sunny, 22 for Perth, 33 in Darwin. And that's all we have from the newsroom for this evening. A reminder that Sunrise will have the latest on the New South Wales bushfires, including what action police plan to take. That's from 6am here on 7. I'm Ann Ford. I'll see you tomorrow night. Good night.